Welcome to your learners for the next part of still wine manufacturing process. Before we move on to the session, let's have a recap of still wine manufacturing part 1. In part 1, we have done vinification process. The process by which the wine is made from the grape juice. Next, we did the first initial stages of vinification process. Next, we did the first initial process of the vinification process, in which we started with the grape harvesting procedure, how the grapes are harvested by manually and mechanically. Next, we did is the crushing process, crushing for different grapes and different wines. How the grapes are crushed for the red wine manufacturing, how the grapes are pressed for white wine manufacturing, and so on. Also, we have done different types of crushing process, crushing manually and mechanically. After the crushing process, we also have done the fermentation process, in which, in which the alcohol is made from the grape juice with the use with the use of yeast. Let's begin with the next step. Once fermentation and pressing is done, the wine is stored in oak wood barrels for maturation. Maturation, also called as aging. Aging of wine is the storage of wine that takes place after fermentation, but before bottling. Often, this is done in oak wood barrels. The oak may be French or American, air dried or plain dried. toasted or charred during aging the wine absorbs the vanilla flavor from the oak during this process this wine which is stored in the oak wood barrel interacts with the oxygen hence the oxygen eases out tannin and mellows the wine the wines are often aged in cold area called as cellar aging develops the wine quality it also increases the flavors of the wine these are the oak wood barrels in which the wines are kept for maturing and aging during the, this aging period there is a secondary fermentation that takes place in the oak wood barrel this secondary fermentation is called as malolactic fermentation malolactic fermentation is non alcoholic bacterial fermentation In this non-alcoholic bacterial fermentation, the bacteria converts the harsh malic acid in the juice into a softer lactic acid. This imparts a softer mouth feel and overall a more inviting palate. After fermentation, after the aging of the wine, the next step is racking. In racking, the wine racking is often referred as sauterage. In this method the wine is moved from one barrel to another barrel. The racking process is repeated several times. It can be done on two ways. Traditionally racking with help of gravity, mechanically with the help of pump. It helps to clarify the wine. This is the traditional method of racking done through gravitational force where the oak wood barrels are kept on one top of each other and the top barrel consisting of the wine is transferred to the bottom barrel where the wine maker checks the wine which is transferred from the top barrel to the bottom barrel in the light of a candle so as to stop any lees from entering the bottom barrel which indirectly makes sure that the wine is also filtered or the next is through the pump which is a mechanical way of which is the mechanical way of racking once the racking is done a process called as shunning is done in this step it removes certain microscopic solids still remaining in the fermented mass still remaining in the fermented mass Fining gives the wine more clarity and brilliance. Some fining agents work 
by clay carrying undesirable suspended particles to sink to the bottom some of the finding agents used for finding the wine are egg white colloidal silica bentonite gelatin and icing glass these materials have cleaning power they attract the particles in the wine with the which can settle at the bottom after which the clear the clear wine is siphoned off in the rocud barrel the fining agent is added from the top where the fining agent settles all the leaves which is called which is the impurity present in the wine at the bottom and hence the wine that is extracted is without the leaf after the fining there is filtration in filtration process the wine is passed through cellulose or asbestos to remove any sediments that are present which makes the wine cloudy and which might cause a secondary fermentation later this is what the change will look like once the wine is filtered if it's a white wine it will be clear if it's a red wine there won't be any sort of leaves or particles present in it once the filtration is done the last process is blending blending is basically a process of mixing wines of different age different year different flavor different grapes or maybe different region wine makers may blend wine for variety of reasons such as to adjust the acidity or to adjust the alcohol level sometimes it is used for adjusting the tannin content or to improve the color aroma or the flavor blended wines are then rested and fined again and then bottled and sold blended wines are then rested and fined again the last but not the least important process step is bottling and corking bottling is a process in which the wine is filled with in the bottle the wine bottle is slowly filled and topped with either nitrogen the bottle is then capped with either a cork or a screw cap packing wine bottles have a punt end which stabilizes pressure and is also used for holding the bottle while pouring wine during the serve once these bottles are filled with wine once these bottles are filled with wine and the desired gas these bottles are corked cork is an equ- is made either with an oak or nowadays we also have corks which are made up of fiber These corks used for wine bottles are mainly made up of oak wood tree. With this, we come to an end of the procedure of wine manufacturing. The wine manufacturing that starts with harvesting of the grapes in which we harvest either manually or mechanically following with crushing of the same. During crushing, the destemming of the grapes is also done. where the stems are used as the natural fertilizers in the vineyards followed with fermentation a process of 5 to 7 days where the wine is actually made where the sugar present in the free run is converted into ethyl alcohol and co2 gas by the saccharomyces cerevisiae that is the yeast that is added during the fermentation once this fermentation process completes completes the wine is then kept for aging the aging happens in the oak wood barrels once the wine is aged the racking process is done followed with the fining process in this fining process the wine that is having some sort of sediments which are called lees are clarified once the fining is done the wine is again filtered in filtration the cloudy wine is converted into a clear wine 
where minute possible sediments or lees are clarified after the fining is done after the filtration is done this wine is then blended in blending we either mix a wine of different grapes different year or different flavors so as to adjust all these aspects like adjusting flavors adjusting the aroma adjusting the tannins and sometimes the acidity too sometimes the acidity too once the wine is blended this blended wine is further matured for a while and after the maturation the wine is bottled bottle which is filled either with co2 or nitrogen and once the wine is bottled once the bottle is filled with wine and desired gas it is corked the cork which is made of oak wood or either fiber or rubber and there we are with a beautiful wine to enjoy there we have a beautiful wine in the glass to enjoy let's enjoy it together There we have a beautiful wine in the glass to enjoy. Let's enjoy the wine together. Thank you so much. References for data credit and for photo credit. Thank you.